Amen. Good evening. Good evening, uh, Jerusalem. Good evening, members and friends. Uh, grateful on this uh, uh, Wednesday, and certainly want to pray God's blessings on uh, on all of you. And uh, uh, know that um, if you don't see God on scene, know that He's working uh, behind the scenes. Uh, we serve a God who never sleeps nor slumbers. Day and night, our Lord and Savior advocates for us. Romans 8 says the Holy Spirit intercedes with us the words that cannot, cannot be uttered, groanings with words that cannot be uttered. And so uh, you are beloved, and we are beloved of God, and so uh, grateful to uh, have you uh, in on this day. Uh, quite a bit of uh, a lot to... Uh, uh, think and process, but um, the same God who brought us through before is able to bring us through uh, again. Why don't you continue to pray for, pray for me, pray for our church family. Uh, we're certainly uh, in need of prayer, and uh, think about all of those who uh, you may not see or think about, and, um, and uh, lift them up in prayer. Uh, today is certainly a heavy day. Uh, some of you may have received the news, um, but a giant in the land has gone on to be with the Lord, and that is our own sister Thelma Ray, and uh, a giant in the land. And um, uh, in my fifth year as pastor here, um, but it cannot be understated uh, in, in my tenure, as well as the history of this church, as well as the history uh, of, uh, uh, of Jacksonville and uh, adjacent counties, as well as the entire state of Florida. Uh, Sister Ray was a giant in the land, a giant of a woman. And, um, and um, uh, today the Lord uh, has called her home. And so continue prayers for uh, our church family, continued prayers for her children, uh, Linda and Tia, and uh, all of those, and Rose, and, and forgive me for the names that I can't call off the top of my head. Um, um, Lord have mercy, trying to think of her, her son, but, uh, um, but just, just want to keep them in prayer. And uh, we just uh, uh, funeralized Sister Pearlie Wilson, and... Uh, and so a host of uh, family members and theirs know, uh, have some idea what it's like as they laid to rest mother and grandmother. So continue prayers for uh, Yvette and their uh, family, Edie and Valerie, Amber and others. Uh, just continue prayers for them. Um, as details come forth, we will surely uh, let the church know and uh, be just uh, working with the family as things come, but uh, certainly a heavy day um, uh, in our church, and uh, uh, pastors are tasked with the uh, work of both um, caring for the grieving uh, and, uh, and privately uh, grieving themselves, and so prayers for pastors everywhere who uh, carry the burden of, of caring for the grieving and uh, grieving themselves. Death has a way of, of uh, impacting how you look at life and how you treasure life and its reality. It is appointed that uh, man uh, uh, to live and then uh, wants to die and then the judgment. And, um, and so uh, life has a beginning and ending. And um, it's important that we uh, be aware of that and uh, not be prideful. Um, God has granted us eternal life, uh, but he has granted us uh, boundaries on this, this human life and uh, this life that we know in um, that uh, has all kind of experiences. Um, but the decisions we make in this life ultimately affect our eternal life. Uh, remember this weekend is our fifth Sunday union, and um, so this Friday at 7 p.m., um, those of you that can and will uh, be here, 
It's all of our uh, churches, and uh, let me get. Let me say, all of our churches are dealing with the same thing: um, uh, a transitioning world uh, as we know it, as well as a, a pandemic, post-pandemic, pandemic world. And uh, but we want to be uh, encouragement. So t- this Friday will be a women's and laymen. Um, this Sunday we will have our closeout at three. Uh, 3 p.m., amen? Um, so that's this coming Friday. Remember this Saturday at 10 a.m., our choir will rehearse, and we want to st- go ahead and start to get a rhythm of, of whatever we have uh, to sing. And, uh, and again, let's be available, amen? And available, and uh, God will uh, bring out all of our abilities. Thank God for uh, Brother Elisha Paris and... Uh, and um, his presence and continue praying for our church as we uh, continue to move forward in 2023. We had a great uh, joint board meeting between deacons and trustees this past Monday, and then our uh, uh, church uh, meeting at large is this coming Monday at 6.30, and uh, so uh, look forward to uh, continuing to press forward. Um, uh, also, this Saturday uh, at noon, our deaconess will be will be meeting, and um, so a couple things need to cover with our deaconess, those that can can be there. Uh, Saturday, February 11th, our all leaders meeting uh, will be at 10 a.m. Uh, should there be any change in schedule, uh, we will let uh, let you all know. Uh, but again, yeah, continue praying and uh, uh, and. Um, yeah, we're just going to trust the Lord, amen, and uh, God has never failed us yet, and so uh, if he brings us to it, he can bring us, bring us through it, and so 151 years, the Lord has been bringing Jerusalem through, and uh, whatever years you live in your life, he's been bringing you through, and so we want to just continue praying. Listen, Father in heaven, thank you for your goodness and your grace. This is the day, this is the day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. And um, uh, um, God, you, you are in heaven and we are on earth. Heaven is your throne and earth is your footstool. Um, your thoughts and your ways are higher than ours. And as the heavens are higher than earth, so are your ways and your thoughts. And so God, uh, we dare not put ourselves uh, in your shoes. We dare not put ourselves with your judgment uh, for your ways are past finding out and um, just want to praise you because you're a God and you're God all by yourself and uh, we trust Lord that you continue to work things out pray comfort for our church pray comfort for uh, um, the Ray family and all those that are uh, impacted and we thank you and praise you in Jesus name amen amen um had been on a series and uh, uh, for on our Wednesday on Sundays preaching through uh, um, godliness, um, preaching through godliness, and um, um, uh, but on Wednesdays uh, high expectations, high expectations, and uh, we we're in entering in twenty twenty three. And I've already started, let's say, entering. We are in 2023. And, uh, but in the early uh, days, today is January 25th. We still have 11 months uh, to go. And um, there are some uh, human high expectations uh, that we, we have of ourselves. Amen? Human high expectations. There are many of you, you, wanna, you want raises. Amen? Many of you, you want to retire this year. Many of you, uh, you uh, s- maybe finish school or uh, buy a home or go on a trip somewhere or, or do something. Uh, and so uh, you may have your personal high expectations. As a pastor, um, I quite naturally uh, want to continue to see, see things grow. But we ultimately, we want to submit ourselves to God's expectations, God's expectations, and um, because they are God's expectations, 
quite naturally, they are, they are high expectations. And uh, high on one level, uh, because it, it does not um, uh, uh, solely rely on us to achieve them. God does not uh, give us his word uh, and does not equ also equip us to achieve uh, what he has put before us. I told you some areas that I want to touch on as we go through this series, high expectations in fellowship and how we deal with each other, high expectations in evangelism, amen? Pastors themselves do the work of an evangelist, high expectations in ministry. I just preached the um, uh, a funeral for Sister Pearlie Wilson, amen? Um, we don't lord over each other. We, we, don't, we, don't, we, we, we don't consider the greatest being those who, who have the most uh, power or, or able to exercise power, people who serve them, but rather people who, people who serve, amen? And so high expectations uh, in ministry, high expectations in worship. Uh, just this past week, talked about the importance uh, of worship of um, uh, uh, gratefulness, thankfulness. When you serve, you serve him, amen? Uh, acts, acts of worship, acts and demonstration uh, of worship and our giving, how we give, amen. Uh, um, are, are all those things, high expectations, high expectations and discipleship. And uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, talked about uh, uh, our devotional life. And, uh, and so wanted and, and encourage us to read Philippians 3 and 4 and meditate in there and uh, read, write, recite. Um, because God, God, God has a, a blessing for us. And, and those high expectations are met with, with his strength and, and his power. Amen. Watch this, Ephesians 6 and 10. Uh, be called, be strong in the Lord. Amen. Ephesians 6 and 10, be strong in the Lord and in the power of, of his might. Amen. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of, of his might. And so we, we engage uh, a spiritual journey, spiritual journey, meaning we, we are not uh, resting on the carnal and human dictates of this world, but, but a journey that is from above. And because it is from above, God grants us his power. And so be strong in the Lord and in the, in the power of his might. Amen. The, the power, the spiritual power of faith. Amen. You know, Paul in Ephesians 6 uses armor, imagery of armor. But faith, faith is a part of, is a part of your strength. Amen. Sister Thelma Ray, one, one thing I know, she was a woman of faith. Amen. Uh, the righteousness. Righteousness is a is a spiritual power. How you look at your neighbor, how you look at uh, this world. Righteousness, God's way, Amen. The gospel, the gospel, the good news is is a part of part of uh, His power, His word, the sword of the Spirit, Amen. Which is the word of God, Amen. We the helmet of salvation. Our salvation is our. Are, are part of what it means to be strong in the Lord. And so, so we, we have all of these components uh, um, that, that allow us to have a level of strength in order to accomplish what God would, would have us by our own um, uh, 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 accord, by our own dictates. No, we, we don't have the power. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm, I'm alerting you to some news, but all have sinned, amen, and sinning <laughs> and come short of the glory of God, amen. On our natural dictates, we rebel. In our natural dictate, uh, uh, we serve ourselves, amen. We're tempted to make our own selves God or worship other things. But, but when we avail ourselves, when we avail ourselves to the Lord, uh, we are able to meet uh, the high the high expectations, amen. Uh, um, um, uh, and so God has equipped us to live the godly life, the life that perseveres, 
the life that has joy, the life that is full of joy, the life that has peace, the life that has contentment. Amen. Uh, Hebrews, um, uh, Hebrews, Philippians 4 and 11. We just read it the other day. I've learned whatsoever state I'm in, the bear with to be content. 4 and 13, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. In Christ, I can have contentment. Amen. Uh, that, that's a high expectation to be content, even when there may be things that are not as they were. Amen. Your coins might not be as they were. Amen. How many, how many in an out season went to the gas tank and seemed like it went down. Now it was going back up. Uh, um, but, 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 but God gives us the power that, that to be able to wait patiently on him. Amen. Wait patiently. How many of us, Lord, I want it and, gotta, and you got to do it now. You got to fix it now. You got to make it right now. You got to fix Jerusalem now. You got to fix our family now. You got to fix me. No, those, they, that, they that wait upon the Lord, those that patiently wait, to patiently wait on the Lord, to know that the Lord is going to work things out. It may be news to you. It may be shock to you, but it's not shock to God. Amen? And nor is it out of the realm of God's ability to handle and God's ability to, to manage. The Bible said the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Amen. The, the life that can forgive, the life that can obey, the life experienced. Amen. Second Peter 1 and 3, listen to this. It says his divine power, his divine, God's divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Th through these, he has given us very great and precious promises so that through them, you may participate in the divine nature, having escaped the corruption in the world caused by evil desires. God has given us many great and, and precious promises, a precious promise. Jesus said, I'm going to send the Holy Spirit who will teach you all things and bring all things to your, your remembrance, that, that, that his Holy Spirit would, 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 would empower us to be witnesses all, all over the world. Uh, come on, you ought to thank him for his promises. His promises that if we seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all these things shall be added unto, amen, the whole counsel of God, amen. His promises, blessed is the man or woman that walketh not in the counsel of the godly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but their light is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. His, his promises, his promises over and over again. And, and you, you in 2023, you start to live by faith in the promises of God. Live by faith in the promises of God. Romans 8, 28. And we know that all things work together. Them that love God and are the called according to, according to his purpose. Uh, um, and let me just say this. And so it doesn't happen by merely just coming to church. It doesn't happen just because you've been a believer a long time. That there has to be a willingness, a condition, a condition of the heart. And let me say this too: you got to be careful what you avail yourself to. If you avail yourself to information where God is low, God is not honored, God is not reverenced, God is not feared. So what, what, what kind of spiritual life you think you're going to have? What kind of expectations and desire you're going to meet? But if you avail yourself, amen, if you do come to church, you do get in Sunday school. Listen, in the next uh, five weeks or so, I think they just started this past Sunday, going through a series of, of Sunday school lessons, how, how to dis discern the, 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 the voice and will of God, amen? How to discern God's voice, God's will, uh, God's direction, amen? You, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta call Miss Clobubba, amen? And get your secret reading. You don't, you don't have to read memes and, and horoscopes. God has a way for you to, to, to know what, what he would have you to do. Amen. Amen. Don't, you thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Amen. So it, you don't have to lie on somebody else in order to advance your own self. That's a good way to know. Amen. I, I, that some things you, you ought not do. It's a condition of our heart. So watch this, you all. As you're watching tonight, whether live or pre-recorded, um, or recorded, can, can you pray for the hearts of Jerusalem? 
Uh, that's, what, that's what I need. Those of you who are, you're watching this right now, can you say, Lord Jesus, have mercy on our church? Have mercy on our church. And, and, and as people come to your mind, Lord, have mercy on my pastor. Lord, 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 ha have mercy on our young people. Lord, have mercy on our seniors. Lord, ha have mercy on the ushers. Lord, have mercy on the deacons. Lord, have mercy on the deaconess. Lord, have mercy on our office staff. Lord, have mercy on our staff team. Have mercy, Lord, on our van driver. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy, Lord, on our trustees. Have mercy on our members as they come out. Have mercy, Lord, on brother and sister so and so. Lord, can you can you have can you pray pray for Jerusalem that God would condition our hearts. Amen. That God would quicken our hearts. Quicken our quicken our minds, amen. A, 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 can you imagine what God can do with a surrendered church? Can you imagine what God will do with a surrendered church? It took Israel 40 years to get for really what was a <laughs> six to 12 day journey. 40 years. It, now watch this. It did not take 40 years to cross the Red Sea. It, it, you know, it didn't take 40 years to walk out of Egypt. But because their hearts were not surrendered, because they didn't believe, because of, of discontentment and a lack of gratitude and thankfulness, 40 years. Drew, I don't, I don't want to spend 40 years in the wilderness and we don't have to. And we don't have to. Can you say, can you say, can you say, Lord Jesus, help our church to have a willing heart? Can you say, Lord Jesus, let it begin in me. May my heart be willing. May my heart be loving. May my heart be kind. May my heart be patient. May my heart be supportive. May, maybe I be a good neighbor. May I be a good believer. May, may, may I be a good parent. May I be a good child. May I be faithful in ministry. Can you, pray for, can you pray for our church to have the right heart, willingness, obedience, change, faith, humility, simplicity? You, ain't, you, you haven't always saw it. But just because you didn't see it didn't mean God wasn't able to bring it to pass. You, you trust and believe. I don't know how you're going to do it. Well, Hebrews eleven six. but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a reward of, his, of them that diligently seek him. His promises. His promises. Watch this, watch this. Willingness is a condition of the heart. In John chapter 13, uh, Jesus, Jesus uh, tells the, the disciples, the apostles, he said, I'm going to wash your feet. And, and, and that was such a lowly, that was a servant's position to, to wash the feet. Here the rabbi, the master, the teacher, you going to wash feet? Peter said, yeah, he said to Jesus, verse John 13 and 8, you will never wash my feet. You will never wash my feet. Here it is, Peter, Peter think he got all the sense in the world. You ain't going to wash my feet, Jesus. You, you so holy, so, <laughs> you so sanctified. Here it is, you going to tell Jesus what, what he ain't going to do. Sometimes we got too much sense. You shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, if I do not wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but my hands. And Lord, wash, wash all of me. That's the spirit. That, that's a willing. Listen, let me say this as well. In my, my pastor, you say this. Everybody ain't mean. Some people just green. Some people are just green. They are not mean. They are just green. You know what it means to be green? Hey, man, you, you try eating. Now, they, they say you can still eat it. You, you eat that banana when it's fully green. Amen? Versus when it, when it, when it ripens a little, a little bit. And, 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 and what I think about the God, the testimony of Peter, Pe Peter was quick with his mouth, but Peter was also repentant. Peter also was a God, God had given him a spirit to be able to acknowledge uh, acknowledge his his folly and his the error of his ways, and so it, it's all right to say, you know what, Lord, forgive me, Lord, I I I I I've been I've been doing whatever I want to do, but forgive me, Lord, forgive me. 
Watch this, watch this. John 15, John 15. Um, John 15 to 1, Jesus says, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch that does not bear fruit, he takes away, and every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. Already you are clean because of the word that, that I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If, any, if anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away like a branch and withers and the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. By this, my father is glorified that you bear much fruit. So prove to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide, and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you that your joy may be in you and that your joy may be full. So watch this, high expectations. Verse 8, my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit. Jerusalem, if you are, if you are a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, you're a member of a church, member of Jerusalem, God is glorified when you bear, when you bear much fruit. Amen. And uh, some have, 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 have taken that in many ways, and the, the birthing of souls into the kingdom, uh, our character, the fruit of the spirit, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, meekness, goodness, gentleness, faith, self-control, temperance, against such things there is no, there is no law. God wants us to bear, to bear much fruit. To bear much fruit, and not only bear much fruit, but 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 as we go through life, to be able to have to have joy. And again, uh, uh, our desire ought to be what the Lord would have us to be: to be fruitful. Now, remember what I said at the beginning: you can have your own personal high expectations. Amen. Those desires that are in your heart: I want to retire this year. Want my pension? I, I want my settlement to come through. I, I I I I want to get a new job. I want to finish school. I want to do this and do that. All those high expectations. But where on your high expectations is? I want to be fruitful for the Lord. That, that's His high expectation of us. When, when, when are you gonna put it on on your list that you want to bear much fruit? For the Lord. By this is my verse 15 and 8. My father glorified that you bear much fruit and so prove to be my disciples. You know how you know you know how you you give evidence that you belong to the Lord by how you carry yourself. One one thing you one thing you can say about Sister Thelma Ray, maybe not the, a perfect woman. None of us are perfect, but she was a she was a God fearing woman. She wasn't a worldly woman. Amen. The, the way that she lived her life, the way that she cared for others, gave evidence to the kind of person that she was. Amen. And in the, in the, in the same way, you ought to want to live a life that reflects that God is in you, that God is using you. By how you worship, by how you treat people, by how you serve others. By the Christ likeness of your character? Are you humble? Are you obedient? Are you steadfast? Are you praying? Are you, are you meditating in his word? One of the things that you see over and over again in John 15, uh, uh, verses 1 through 10, is, is abide. 1, 2, uh, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times you see this word abide, which means to, to reside in. And when you abide, you will, when you abide in the Lord, you, you, you will grow. When you abide in the Lord, the, the Father is pruning it and, and, and working, working on you. Make it correct. At, we, at, we cut it down a tree. And I'll pray for y'all, Pastor. <laughs> in my yard. And uh, I had uh, a, a leftover a branch. 
that looked fully alive. And, uh, and I, it had been a couple weeks, and uh, one of my children has remained nameless at this point. They said, they, said, they said, why don't you put that back in the ground? Maybe it'll grow. I said, no, it's good, it's dead. They said, you sure? It's, it's fully green. And I, I, I want to say, go right ahead. Go right ahead and, 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 and put it in there. It'll, it'll look like it's alive. It'll hold its color for a few days. Amen. Uh, 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 but but it, it, it is as good as dead. And you don't want to be that way. You look alive. You, you, you look like you belong to the Lord. You, you look churchy. But the reality just dead because you, you haven't abide. Abide is how you, how you st- how do you start your day? Y- y'all heard me. I, I taught about um, uh, 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 devotion uh, a few weeks ago. Amen. And posture. Uh, uh, the Bible said Jesus, as an example, a great while before day he got up. How you starting your day? Daniel prayed three times a day. Anna Anna spent so much time in the temple of God with prayers and fasting what's your prayer life like what's your word life like what's your fellowship life like are you picking up the phone are you reaching out to others are you encouraging somebody are you in a sunday school class are you in a ministry are you uh, how what what does your abiding life look like watch and see what 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 the lord will do We we have to we have to depend on depend on Jesus in 2023 Jerusalem. We have to depend on them. Watch this. Mark 5 35. Mark 5, Jesus meet Jairus meets Jesus, tells him the report of his daughter. Some of you know know Mark 5 uh, in the midst of moving. There was a woman with an issue of blood crawled through the crowd, said, if I may touch just the hem of his garment. And all of a sudden, Jesus, Jesus pauses to deal, to deal with the woman with the issue of blood, to deal with the crowd. Jairus' daughter is sick to the point of death, but Jesus deals with this woman. And in the midst of of all that was going on in Mark 5.35, they said, your daughter is dead. Your daughter is dead. They said, why bother the teacher anymore? Your daughter, all, all, hope, is, all hope is gone. High, expect, high expectations. Are you, are you going to quit on God just because the current circumstances? Are you, are, are you going to quit? They said, don't he <laughs> send Jesus back on wherever he's going because your daughter is dead. Can, can I encourage somebody tonight? Don't, don't let your current situations, current circumstances make you cut the, the, Lord, the Lord loose. Our foreparents had it right. I need thee every hour, most gracious Lord. No tender voice like thine can peace afford. Can you say that tonight? I need thee, oh, I need thee every hour. Oh, boy. I need thee, oh, bless me now my savior i come to to thee watch this here verse 36 overhearing what they said jesus told them don't be afraid just believe i want to encourage somebody tonight just believe dawn it dawn it by the future just believe bothered by bad news just believe bothered by loss, just believe. 2023, I encourage you, just keep believing. Continue, continue, continue with, with the Lord. Amen. Remember, remember the, the three uh, 
Three words, read, write, and recite. All right, let's pray. Father heaven, thank you for your goodness and your grace. Thank you, Lord, for high expectations and your mighty, your mighty power that allows us to meet them. Thank you for uh, how you are at work in us, Lord, pruning us, cleaning us, washing us, that we may continue to bear fruit. Though many have said, Lord, it may not be everything that we should be, but thank you, Lord, that we're not what we used to be. But continue to work in me. Continue to work in Jerusalem. Help us to be an obedient church. Help us to be an humble church. Help us to be a loving church. Help us to be a sharing and a caring church. Help us to be an evangelizing church. Help us to be a fellowshipping church. Help us to be a Christ-like church. Help us to be a worshiping church. Help us to care for those who, who don't have. Lord, may you get all glory out of us. May we not be afraid of your expectations or ignore your expectation. But by your mighty power, achieve and live out your expectations for us. Thank you for so many predecessors and others who have been witnesses of what you can do. Thank you for the life of Sister Thelma Ray. Thank you for the life of so many others who deposited their lives into other people and have encouraged us by their faith. Lord, we thank you and praise you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless everybody.